Hey guys, today we are looking at the Volcano Exploration Base by Lego. Bam! There it is. Uh, this playset is pretty cool. It's got a lot of things uh, that you can do with it. You have uh, all these little uh, fireballs with the crystal inside. And uh, these are nicer than the ones uh, from the Arctic playset because these ones actually open at the top instead of at the side, so it's much easier to open these things uh, due to the placement of the uh, little hole right here. Uh, and it just very easily splits right down there. You just kind of you can jab your finger in there and it'll just pop open. Uh, we'll open these things with the actual tools though so you can see what it looks like. Anyways, this playset comes with all these pieces. You got the truck, trailer, the volcano, the, uh, what is that thing? Little jackhammer tractor, little, uh, uh, I don't know, wheelbarrow with wheels. And then you got this uh, totally useless drone, which I think is really lame. So let's get rid of that. Anyway, uh, let's take a look at the, this stuff from uh, right to left. First off is this uh, pretty cool tracked vehicle here. It's got the jackhammer attachment. It's too bad you can't swap it out with something else so that you could use it as a digger or something. Although it does come with the uh, bucket on the front that you can use for some plowing. Uh, it just tilts up and out of the way. Uh, the whole thing, I think it looks pretty cool. The uh, headlights and the protection that it gives you with the little roll cage and then the glass. Looks pretty cool. A little bit hard to get the mini fin fig in and out because you have to pop open the top and just remove the whole front end. It doesn't flip open like some of the other uh, sets in the past. Uh, so that's just kind of a pain. I'm not gonna play with it. Anyways, the arm, that's kind of cool. Uses a rubber band system right here. And uh, you just center it right here and you go cha 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 Then it breaks that thing open and then you got access to a little crystal inside. A little blue clear crystal. Uh, yeah. Anyways, I really like the tracks on this thing and the way these things work. It actually has some wheels in there that make everything happen. So if you're on a flat surface versus carpet, you should be able to get it to move. And here's what it looks like underneath. You got these two wheels here, and you can see they got the little uh, gear thing in there to make uh, the little sprockets spin. And you can see the tracks are kind of loose on here. I put them on tight at first, and nothing would move, so I added one more link to both as it comes with extras. and. Uh, that fixed everything. Now it runs on both smooth and rough surfaces like carpet. Uh, here's how it all looks from the front. Top has some cool stickers. Make it look like you got some hydraulic cables and cool engine back there. And then the back has a pretty smooth look to it and looks good. And the thing will turn full 360 here. And it's uh, it clicks every time you turn it, so it'll lock in place. Uh, pretty nice. Yeah, so there's that unit. That's pretty cool. Next up is this uh, little wheelbarrow guy. He can uh, drive around. And I believe this dumps. Yeah, you can just dump stuff out and then uh, pop it back in place and then drive off and collect another one. I don't know if you can scoop it up. Nah, it's not for scooping. So you can deliver it to right here for the little tractor to take care of or whatever. Uh, not much to see with this guy. It just looks like this. Quick little build. Nice tires for any kind of uh, surface that you, your kids might be playing on. Uh, rolls freely. And uh, yeah, not much to say about that. And then... Uh, the centerpiece here, well, next to the volcano, that uh, is this truck. This truck is pretty nice. Uh, the big chunky tires help it to uh, move across any surface. 
and um, this thing works really well on a hard surface. You can just give it a push and it'll just go. Uh, anyway, the trailer is attached right now. We can disconnect that. The trailer has a little uh, foot peg here to hold it up in, uh, in the level position here. A little rotating uh, antenna. Uh, but let's let's go back to the truck. I don't want to get sidetracked here. Anyways, the truck, pretty cool looking unit. It's got the little uh, gas tanks with the stickers on each side, and then these big doors, uh, which are pretty cool. And you just got to pop the top off like any of these Lego City vehicles, and you got access to your minifig. You can only stick one in there. Uh, you can see the, the layout here. Not enough room for two. Uh, but you could probably throw some tools in there too. Anyways, this pops back on. Got a little roll bar here uh, to protect the windshield. And then the front looks pretty cool. And the back. Uh, you can see we got this little arm right here that we can use for grabbing uh, little fireballs, whatever. You can pick them up and then you can drive them right back to your little spot, do whatever you gotta do with them. And then, uh, that's pretty much it for the truck. Uh, I do, it was a fun build. I do like this, the look of it. Looks really cool, I think. Um, yeah. That's about it for that. Now the trailer. Looks like we got some little oxygen tanks or something here on the front. And then moving it around here, got an antenna on the back, little airplane windows all around here. Uh, and then these things, you can see that there's gaps in here and you can actually see through inside it uh, so it's not fully sealed. Um, but that allows it to open these things all the way up. So you can just flip all the way up and they could go all the way over. And then on the inside, here's what we got going on here. A little person playing with the crystal. A uh, little light over that. A um, little seismic uh, recorder here. Let me open up the other door as well on the other side just so we can get some more light in there so you can see. Anyways, yeah, that looks pretty cool. But uh, honestly, that's it. Not much else to do with this thing. No bed, uh, nothing. You can see what the build looks like here underneath. Uh, very interesting way of doing uh, these new builds uh, with the parts that they provide, but uh, I like it. Pretty cool overall. Uh, nice build quality, very solid, I think. Uh, I think this is uh, reminiscent of the Arctic uh, Outpost, which I have reviewed as well. I think this trailer is better quality, uh, and it uh, looks pretty cool uh, compared to the other one, which just swings open. This thing pops open on the, like this. Very cool. Anyway, uh, just feels more solid. Lastly, we got the big volcano. And this is a pretty cool build itself. It was uh, it's basically four corners, four sides, and they're uniform. They're all the exact same thing. Uh, this side is exactly this side. So, uh, yeah, so you're just building the, the same thing four times and then sticking it together. And then uh, I do like these cool new tiles. I've never used these before. Uh, this color looks really cool. Um, and then the action part of this is that uh, we have this lever right here and pushing down on this guy will launch, using the trapdoor, launch the little fireballs out to bombard us below. So that's pretty cool. You can see what it looks like on the inside here. And this thing just goes like that. And it's just basically a, like a little seesaw. And you just lift it up and pop these things out so we can put like two of them up here and then just uh, give them a little launch and they fall down uh, that's pretty much it for this thing uh, nothing 
special about it besides that. Um, lots of opportunities though for your imagination to run wild with this thing. Here's what it looks like on the inside from the bottom. Overall, I think it's a pretty cool playset. Uh, and when combined with the others, you can have a full on adventure. Anyways, that's it. So if you have any questions, just uh, ping me in the comments. All right, see ya.